I think he's one of the truly bright offensive minds and football minds. He has rebuilt. He did to Philadelphia. He's rebuilt Kansas City. Their roster is as deep as anybody in the NFL. His name is Andy Reid, and he's joining us via the Coward Global Satellite Network. First of all, did you watch? Uh, did you watch McGregor and Mayweather, Andy? Did you see the fight? I did. What'd you make I of it? I think I saw you and Christine there. <laughs> What'd you make of it? You know, I thought it was a good show. Uh, I think it's tough to go into somebody else's uh, backyard there and, and brawl. I mean, but uh, listen, it was a good show, and it it worked out. I think both guys are tough guys, and and they. You know, they, they gave you what, what you paid for there. You know, Andy, I was, t- I was talking to a, 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 rec- a national recruiting director of an NFL team in the AFC a couple weeks ago, and he said, man, quarterback is tough. He said, you know, you go to a combine, most players you can judge them neck down. He goes, but quarterbacks neck up. Some guys just don't want to get hit. And so you draft Patrick Mahomes, and I know he's got a good arm, Andy, but I've watched him, and I'm like, boy, he's got – there's an it quality to Patrick Mahomes. So here's my question. All these quarterbacks you've drafted, a couple of them, you know, Kevin Cobb wasn't as good as you thought, but he was good for about a year. What is it with you beyond the arm that attracted you to Mahomes? Well, you, you talk about a mind and a strong mind. He grew up in a baseball locker room. Uh, I don't hold that against him. Uh, he, <laughs> there are a lot of tough guys in baseball, too. So, uh, But he, he comes to us uh, not being awed by uh, the magnitude of playing quarterback in the National Football League. He loves to play the game. He does have all the the arm strength and the, the body strength, whatever you want to put in there. He's got great feet. Uh, but most of all, smart, loves to play the game. You know, and, and you got to massage this a little bit because he's a young talent. Alex Smith has been terrific for you. How do you massage that whole veteran, young guy, successor? Is it something you got to talk about with Alex? Well, you're honest with him. I mean, listen, uh, age gets the best of all of us. So, I mean, it's uh, it's one of those things. That doesn't mean you can't keep playing, though. Alex keeps himself in great shape. And he's a good football player. But uh, as an organization, you have to plan – uh, for the future as you as you go on with this. And that's just part of the game. And and Alex knows that. He's not looking backwards. That's not what he's doing. I mean, he, he, he knows he's a good football player. He knows he's in charge of this uh, offense right now. Nobody understands it better than he does. And let's roll. It's that simple. Uh, Andy Reid, Chiefs head coach, 19th year as a head coach. So Spencer Ware gets injured in a preseason game. Yet we're going to watch Michigan play Al- uh, Florida this weekend in college football. It's a bunch of 19-year-olds. Uh, transition all over college coaching could be a new system, a new coordinator, and all these 19 year olds walk in, they can play NFL guys. I got Andy Reid, I got a dependable staff, I got 27 year old men. Why do you guys need a preseason? Well, preseason helps those 19 year olds become uh, 23 year olds. You know, so they they get in here and they they have a chance to uh, to learn the offense. It's great for the young guys. It's good for the old guys to knock the rust off. I heard Tony Gonzalez on your show. I heard him talk about. And he doesn't need all that time. Doggone it, Tony. Um, you're hanging with me. You would have needed a little bit of time. Just, <laughs> But anyway, that's, that's how it goes. That's how it rolls. You do need a little bit of time, though, to get yourself going, in particular the young guys, guys new to the uh, system. You, you get these kids, you get them for about four years, and then there's a chance they move on. So you have an influx of free agents. you got to be able to teach them what you're doing uh, and, and how you go about your business. Tony was lucky enough where he's just at a couple places and there for a long time at both of them and understood the culture of the place. Uh, let me ask you about, you know, I was talking to USC coaches and they're like, we probably won't hit much after September. We don't have a buy. Football is changing. You know, is the modern athlete, he's more empowered. The seasons are longer. Andy, when you go into a season, do you coach differently in September than post Thanksgiving with the bodies and the young people? Well, you do. I mean, uh, as the season goes on, you better adjust. Uh, it's a long season, and the guys have pretty much got it as you as you cross over at least Thanksgiving there. You want to use that as a, a landmark. So uh, you cross over that date, and the guys are pretty much – they understand what's expected of them. They're also – their bodies are getting tired. So uh, you've got you've to adjust on, on, the, on the move there and make sure that you got a pulse of your football team. I always think the toughest thing for a Jared Goff, a Patrick Mahomes, a Dak Prescott – you're asking a 21-year-old kid to walk into a locker room of 28-year-old men, and he doesn't know the offense, and you want him to take over as a leader. Forget the physical stuff. 
How do you convince Patrick Mahomes? All right, Patrick, I want you to go bark at that veteran tight end or veteran wide receiver. That seems incredibly difficult to me. Well, if you're competitive, you know this. You bark at everybody, Doug. Got it. So <laughs> it's one of those deals. It's if you got it, you got it. And and uh, uh, in that position, the, those guys are asked to uh, shoot people straight and to be honest with them. And so uh, that's what that's what they do. And 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 uh, they they do it in their own way. Each one's a little bit different, uh, but they all have to lead men and make sure they've got the other ten guys going in the right direction. And these ten guys are from all different backgrounds, and and so uh, it's important that you you can put it down to them and be real with them, and however you go about it, get it done. You're making everybody around you better. And uh, finally, Andy Reid, Chiefs head coach, entering his 19th year as an NFL head coach. You know, I I I watch your division. Bill Polian told me this years ago. He goes, when we drafted Peyton Manning. We knew we would be leading in the second half a lot. So we then drafted pass rushers and smaller linebackers who were good in space against the pass. That Peyton Manning changed our roster. And, it cha- and he goes, and if you look at our division, everybody was drafting pass rushers to get Peyton Manning. When you watch, and maybe it's early, maybe I'm reaching here, Andy, but when you watch Derek Carr and you're like, holy moly, I got to face this guy two times a year for the, for the next five or six years, is part of the reason you're building your Chiefs knowing that I got Derek Carr for two games and this kid looks like a potential superstar. Is that one of the reasons you get Mahomes? One of the reasons you're so interested in pass rushers in Kansas City? Well, in the league, you've got to do that. I'm not slighting Derek because this, this kid's phenomenal. I had a chance to coach him in the Pro Bowl, and uh, he, he's uh, he's tremendous, and, and the upside is, is astronomical. I mean, for the, for the NFL to have him as one of the quarterbacks in this league – uh, is really something special. So, uh, but uh, you've got to be able to rush passers in, in the National Football League. Uh, you've also got to be able to run the ball a little bit. And they they picked up Edwin James. You use that uh, Bill Polian uh, deal. So I mean, it's uh, it's one of those things. They're, they're going to have the lead. They're going to run the ball. The, the, the other team's going to throw the ball. You better have the guys that that can get after them. And and so Bill made sure he covered both ends of that. By the way, you open with the Patriots next Thursday. Edelman's out for the season. Does that does anything change for you in preparation? Uh, well, no, other than it's a Thursday game, you don't have those couple of days there that, that you rest up. I mean, you're right into it and, and you're moving and, and moving fast, uh, but, but what better way of doing it? I mean, uh, against the world champions and, uh, they're a good football team. We, we feel we're a good football team. We can't wait to, uh, to go up there and, and have an opportunity to play them. I mean, it, it's a great way to start the season. I think it's great for the fans and, and the national football league. It gives you something to talk about. And, and that's what, probably most important in this thing yeah what i'm going to talk about is always the most important thing andy absolutely right <laughs> good t- good t- I just, hey listen i am so fired up to be able to hold this microphone that says the hurt on it i can't tell you <laughs> i want to sing the national anthem for you you can do it <laughs> well you know that microphone is very valuable it's got to be 30 40 cents max but uh, andy we appreciate you doing your part there all right guys i appreciate it thanks colin christine you guys are the best man thank you all right thank you